Hold and you'll be able to listen to the show. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two. You you one. don't want your music to you don't want it to be playing. Don't hold radio. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, good afternoon. I want to thank you for tuning in to Up Close and Personal. Andrew, you have, you have to have to Time to write them down. You have to turn your volume down, son. Are you going to be echoing? You going to get feedback? Do you have ear? Do you have earbud? You're muted. You're muted. I can't hear you. Do you have your book? Do you have your book? I don't. Yeah, it's an earphone. Yeah, you have to turn your. Do you have another device on? Excuse me. Okay. I have the phone for talking to you. You don't have to have the phone on. Can you repeat? I can't hear you. You cannot hear me? I can hear you. You're very, very slow. You said my voice is low? Yeah. I don't know if this thing... Okay, maybe now. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon. I want to thank you for tuning in to Up Close and Personal with Angela. I am your host, Angela Thomas Smith. I am the founder of AALAC, which is the African American Author Literacy Awareness Campaign, bringing awareness to authors of African descent all across the world. I am also founder of uh, Aspiring Authors Magazine, um, magazine that is bringing awareness to authors and their issues um, affecting our communities across the world. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We have a very special guest with us today, and I am the queen of messing up names, so I'm not going to... I want to attempt to say her name. I've been trying to get it since she since she sent me a presentation of her name. Um, Mil it is Milagros. 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 Yes. Milagros. Yes. And what does that mean? It means miracles. It means miracles. It means miracles. Well, I am honored to have you on today. Just to share just a little bit about yourself. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to give the listeners a little bit of up close and personal um, with you on today. So is there anything that you would like to share with um, the listeners or those that are watching today? Um, there's a lot I would love to share. <laughs> um, but I'll start um, with the fact that um, I've always been a writer. And I became an author in 2011. So the first book is written from China. I can't hardly hear you. It's like you're, you're, you're. Yes. 
We're having some technical difficulties. You, you had to ask me to call, to, to, to call in. Should I let that go? I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. You can hear me? Yes. Okay. I, I had the phone, the phone, but I turned it off. Okay. So I'm not on the call anymore. I'm in here directly. Okay. I have the call here, so you good? I, I'm still getting the call. Okay. So... Um, I've always been a writer from very, very young. It was something that I think that because of the life I was living and I couldn't really speak the truth. Um, I was just writing. So that was so I was always a writer. So you started writing at a young age. Yes, very young age. As a matter so of did fact, you start? My mom taught me to started teaching me to write. Yeah, but when I was four years old, by the time I was five and a half, I knew the entire alphabet. And ever since, I've been writing. And of course. Mom, that's so nice. Huh? <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, a, a lot of the authors that I um, talk to, and me myself, um, I began writing because of things that I went through in my life. And it was a way of me, I guess, releasing or yes. kind of. It was, and then some points it was at a point where I was going through a healing stage and I may have been going to counseling and my counselor wanted me to deal with something. So I had to revisit certain things or whatnot. So that led to a lot of my writing. That, that That's how I started um, a lot of my project. Um, and for me, it was at a place of pain and a place of hurt. Um, so I always ask people what inspired them to write. Um, and when did you realize that, you know, this was what you wanted to do? This was something that you could use to um, share your story, um, to help change somebody else's life or to encourage somebody else to want to change their life. You know, um, a lot of what I do is, 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 is that's the reason why I do it. So can, can you share with me what inspired you to write the things that I, you write? I just, I inspired me to write because I was dealing with the people that couldn't so I thought I had to write my feelings. And that is how I started writing. But it wasn't until I was about 33 years old that I got a mandate to write my story. And that was a process that took me seven years. But I've always um, written about my pain, and I love it was the important uh, poetry. Even while I was in school, I used to watch people and how they interacted with each other. And sometimes I would write apologies from one person to another. Right, love so the boy can give the girlfriend. You know, so I was always writing. 
So really, my writing words from the page and the silence that I told you. Wow. You know, I I want you to share um, a little bit about your book um, with the listeners and those that will tune in later um, and hear this replay. Um, if you would just share just a little bit about your book, um, please. Sure. The name of the book is and it has nothing to do with my voice. That book is about I lost my voice for years ago, and I still writing this book in 1994. That was like 20 something years ago. And in the book, you'll find different stories about my life. I endured extensive sexual abuse on nine years, physical abuse for until I was an adult. Um, my mom was bipolar and had other issues. That she was dead into into a mindset that would just make her be become violent. So we had to endure a lot of things. Um, in the book, we also not just find about the abuse, but you will find about the experience with the church which was very difficult for me. My journey has been a very interesting journey. And I just want to thank the God because he has you everything that could have destroyed me to bless me so that I can bless mother with my story. In my book, you will find you will find courage. You will definitely find forgiveness. Now, the purpose of the book, or one of them, is to help people understand the mind of many of the victims. Because many times, the person that may be displaying certain behavior and don't understand why. So it's very easy to make a person say a very difficult person. She can swear she is crazy. In reality, no the level of suffering that the person has ignored. And sometimes, many times, the person is able to communicate the pain that they are experiencing. It matters. So, one of the things that we have to do is to open the mind of the people and offering a window where they can see. Again, so I don't know if I can tell her, my sister, the cousin of my mom, behave this way because of something that happened to them. Necessarily, the person is angry or is just rude. You know, they are reasons why a person behaves. A certain way. So, you know, my sister is telling me, Come on, come on, come on. Um, 
have tried to speak like a little it it comes clearer but it does long a little bit um so my my hope is that when people read this book then it's not an easy read by me because even though I am explicit I I do change we take a reverse and a journey with me where they can follow in a story because my story is the only story Wow. <laughs> well, I don't want to I don't want to strain your voice today. Um, I want to thank you for, for taking time to come on and share just a little bit with us. Um, before we leave, um, I would like for you to share how the listeners can get in contact with you. Do you have a website, um, email address, um, ways for listeners to reach out to you if they like to purchase your book? Um, would you like to share with that? Or if you would like to take to the end of, um, in the comment section, um, we can share that um, for them as they watch this video. Yeah, the book title is Muted King. And you can find it in muted.com. Okay. So you can so even. Okay, that is the muted cage. Um, I will make sure to um post that information in the comment section so that um the watchers and the listeners can um have that information. I'll also post it on blog talk in the comment section so that it's be available. Um, I want to thank you for coming on this afternoon and being a part of um, Up Close and Personal with Angela. I also um, want to thank you for being a part of I Am Owning My Truth um, an anthology project. Um, that is one of the reasons why we're having this um, interview on today is um, to talk a little bit about that project. But I do not want to put a strain on your voice on today, but I would like for you to share, um, if you would just share just a tad bit about that before we leave. Um, you got three minutes. Okay. If you want to share just a little bit. Yeah, so holding my truth is very important to me because for most of my life, I had to live a life. I couldn't speak of the abuse that was going on in the home. And then I, I couldn't speak because I didn't want to say my truth. It was very important to accept that that lives so hours in my life. And owning my truth cost me because when I released the image, Lost a lot of family and friends because they were they saw me and somehow they didn't see the signs and those that saw the signs. Sometimes we get independent and to us it becomes the norm. And yeah, she's at the world crazy. But again, nobody tries to find what was going on. And I decided I would just speak the truth. And it was so hard for me to say that I loved. My parents already were Jews, but my heart was really with my children. And even when I go to the engagements, we have to think about them. But thank God that they have been very supportive and have understood that I have to live my truth 
and then I have to stand up. And there is something that I want to share with the listeners. And it's that there is life after abuse. We don't have to get stuck. It's all easy. You stay a victim for 30 years after. But it doesn't have to be intentional to empower ourselves, to take back our power, to take back our to walk in power. Because as creatures, as children of God, we are powerful people. And we can be grateful. We can live of how broken we feel. God meant us together. And God. He keeps up that broken vessel. He creates a brand within and transforms lives in which we commit to. So there is hope in this life. Definitely, there is joy and happiness. The very beautiful of dance is I'm very funny. Very funny. And I'm always laughing and I'm always thanking God for what He has done in me. Indeed, I'm not saying I'm a miracle. Amen, amen, amen. Well, I want to thank you for joining the project. I tell you, I I truly take this project to heart because um, there was a point to where I did not own my truth. You know, I, I, I didn't feel I was worthy. I didn't feel that I deserved to be doing the things that I was doing now. So I had to grow into this and I had to allow God to, you know, break and mold me and, and, and build me up. Um, to where I am today. And I had to go through some things. So I had to learn some things so that I would be able to share with some people that were going to need you for just this time. And I thank God for all of you guys that are a part of this project. Um, and I thank him for this platform for allowing us to be able to come on here and to be able to share our truth, to be able to share with other people so that other people can be healed, so that other people can be delivered and set free. You know, it ain't about us all the time, you know, and a lot of things that we go through and we don't understand what we're going through, but it ain't always for us. Yes. It's for the people that we're going to come in contact with. And I thank God for um, allowing us to cross paths. I tell you, it was truly a divine connection. I take it to heart. Um, you've truly been a blessing to me since we crossed paths. And I thank God for you. Um, I thank you for this opportunity to be able to um, to be able to share to share you with the world, um, I, I truly Let thank you for that. I want to say that I want to thank you, and I thank you every day you came into my life. You call me to a to into solid into the real take it to heart. I, 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 I love what I do. Um, it is a passion to me. You know, I, I never in a million years thought that I would be an author um, and being able to share the word of God and to be able to share my life stories that hopefully that my truth and, and your truth and the other lady's truth, you know, how truth you know, it ain't even about religion. You know what I'm saying? It's about our truth, something that we've lived, something that we've experienced. And yeah. knowing that, you know, the higher power saw us through. 
I just want to give. I, I just want to give <laughs> everybody that wants the opportunity yeah. to share an opportunity to share. Because, yeah. you know, the word of God that we overcome by testimony. And I believe yeah. that somebody needs to hear each one of these stories that's going to be in this devotional. And I thank God for the opportunity. Um, I thank him for the opportunity to be able to come on here and to be able to share. You know, and to let people know what we have going on. Do you have any projects that you would like to share that you may have upcoming um, that you would like to share with the listeners before we leave? Right now, I'm really focused on the community promoting that book. And I haven't gotten a website yet. Um, I wanted to say, I like that you just said that. Our messages are not about religion. We just abuse, it's not discriminate. It does not know color, it does not know race, it does not know country, it definitely does not know religion. Okay, so that's something that we have to understand that we are all in people together so people can talk about it, other people can't. So those of us that can speak, we will speak for us. We speak for many. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. I definitely want to thank you for coming on and sharing um, today. Um, again, I, I thank you for the opportunity to allow allow me to um, interview you and to bring you on my platform. Um, if there's anything that um, AALAC or aspiring authors can do to assist you on your journey as an author, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. Again, I will be sharing your contact information. So if anybody that's listening or tuning in want to reach out to you, they'll have that opportunity to. Again, I thank you. And I want to say that you have a wonderful day. God bless.